feels aside from my soul I, I, Got some food. It's 2.37 p.m. Um, haven't been doing much. Um, as you can see, the situation over here hasn't changed much. We've settled in quite nicely actually, so I believe we'll have to move everything back later today. Otherwise, this is going to become permanent and I don't think that's a good idea. The flowers from the other night still look great. The brownies from the other night uh, are not looking that great. Okay, so it's 5 to 9 on the 15th of April 2017. Um, and yes, it's night time. I didn't shoot anything for the vlog today, but I want to talk about time travel. I'm not really sure where my fascination of time travel came from. I just know I've always loved time travel movies. Um, my favorite time travel movie is the 1960 movie based on the H.G. Wells book, uh, The Time Machine. And it's just one of, one of my favorite all-time movies. Another favorite, of course, will have to be the Back to the Future movies. Um, but the thing what I really liked about the H.G. HG Wells Time Machine version is traveling into the future and showing how broken the world is. So the other day I showed you a part of the film I did last year, 2019. So that's that's based in a near future post-apocalyptic type vibe. And I really love that idea of traveling into the near close future um, and seeing this broken world and everything and then approaching it with the point of that the people of today have the power to change the future and um, to make the right choices now tomorrow won't be a complete loss yeah one of the one of the things that keeps my mind busy the most is the whole time travel thing the aspect of it but only entertainment i'm not a scientist i can't build a time machine i just want to i just want to make films about people that build time machines um, so I've really got a passion for Time Machine. I promise within the few, within the next few months, you're gonna see a project or two um, focused on time travel and time machines and all those fun things. Time travel is one of the themes I really want to incorporate into my next project, into my next big project. I've always loved the idea of time travel and um, I've especially loved the idea of an object of seeing where an object has been through all the years so if you think about a coin like if you open your wallet up now and you see the first coin you see you're not the first person it's been to and if you're the first person it's been to it's been in the factory it's it's other people has have touched it to where it was made but if that's a coin from let's say 1978 all the things that coin has seen everything that coin has bought has purchased all the happiness all the sadness um, maybe buying a house maybe buying drugs um, the stuff that coined has seen and been and been responsible for is quite amazing um, Nedbank made a great advert that they use on YouTube um, about seeing money differently and it's really one of the best ads I've seen in my entire life I really love it um, it's beautiful. It's beautifully done and they incorporated the idea amazingly. It's linked below um, <clears throat> So one of the things I've been finding a lot of problems with is how do you approach time travel in a in a short film? Because in a, in a in a feature film you've got an hour and 30 minutes to get your point across So there's more than enough time to establish the rules of the time travel to establish the um, the past of the person doing the time travel where does the technology come from that allows him to time travel is it a is it a magical approach to time travel or is it a scientific approach approach to time travel so this has been a very unconventional vlog um, hope you enjoyed my opinion or my little chat the little conversation 
Um, if you didn't, I'm sorry, come back tomorrow for another vlog. Don't forget to hit subscribe and um, come back tomorrow for new daily content.